hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing great today in this video we are going to talk about solid principles so like we talked about we are going to start uh, discussing about various LLD topics so we will start with the solid principles so what are these solid principles the solid principles basically are set of five principles which uh, are very useful when you are doing low level design and basically writing your code it gives you a good idea about how should you should structure your code so that it adheres to the basic principles it is easy to modify and edit so today we will start with just s of the solid which is called a single responsibility principle so single responsibility principle as it states that the class which you are designing it should have just single responsibility like it should not be have two or more two or different things to modify so for example uh, whatever your class is you should not change it for two different reasons it should be changed for just one reason you should not have like multiple things to change now we will understand this with the help of an example and we will see how this helps how this principle helps whenever you are doing low level design so let's take this class cap pair calculation okay now uh, in this class uh, let's suppose there are three functions calculate fair price this will just calculate the fair price according to the distance register payment with discount it will validate if correct payment is made considering distance and the payment required and then finally the generate invoice and save to db this will just simply generate the invoice using some invoice generation logic and then it will finally save to the database now what's the issues with this now as you can see this class is no longer single responsibility it has to do various things it has to calculate fair price also it has then to register the payment also then check if the discount was correctly applied and the payment which is made is correct or if there is some amount of money which has to be still taken from the user then there is generate invoice and save to db so this also is there where you are generating the invoice and even calling the db to save the invoice in the database itself now let's see what are the issues with it now suppose this logic changes, generate invoice to DV and the register payment logic also changes. Now two different people are working on it. Now they have to change the same class. That would this was called this would cause a lot of merge conflicts when they are trying to merge their code. Another issue is this: suppose that the DV implementation change and you have to make some change in the generate invoice for DV. So you have to change this function again. So basically, the as the class name suggests cap fair calculation it should not be doing all these different things you are also making a call to the database now it is possible that the database which you are using it changes for example you were using some sql database or uh, now you move to a new no sql database and now you need some more fields which were actually not present in this class but you have to introduce just for this database so for example you have to introduce some let's suppose some primary key in this some some other things you want to introduce so you would have to introduce all these things even though they were not required because this class does not means to do so this is the basically single responsibility principle each class should have just one responsibility if it is just cap pair calculation it should just calculate the fair price and we would see how the we would move the other code into the other classes and they would do their own job this helps to easy version control is there the person who is changing the class that has just single logic and uh, only that person will be working on it at that same time so this helps to maintain the code properly so as you see there are various advantages to this single responsibility principle we will also uh, go over to the other solid principle we will discuss the o in the next video till then see you